What's up now, people? Now, I told y'all last year was the year of Michael Jordan, and this year is the year of Kobe. All right? Don't let that go over your head. Now, since I've been saying that lately, all of a sudden, yesterday, they came out and said, hey, Kobe Bryant has a statue now. Now, it's about, I think, nine feet tall. All right? So, and it looks like him, too. That's a nice statue. So, shout out to Kobe Bryant. Rest in paradise, baby. Now, let's get into these early morning news. Suspect in custody after shooting spree across Memphis left man dead. All right? Crazy, people. A man suspected of a shooting spree across Memphis on Sunday that left one man dead and others injured has been captured, police said. The man was identified as a 20-year-old who was out on bond for first-degree murder. That's crazy, and especially aggravated robbery, according to the Memphis Police Department. His name has not been released. The shooting spree prompted an hours-long citywide manhunt. Now, you see what they said? He had a bond. He was out on bond for first-degree murder. That's insane. Five wounded in mass shooting on Chicago's Lower West Side. So this weekend was crazy. You know what I'm talking about? People was getting it in. Three killed in multiple shootings across Memphis. 57-year-old man shot in the leg. Lakewood church shooting woman with child open fire was then killed. And this was at Joe Osteen Church. Woman firing rifle killed by two off-duty officers at Joe Austin's church. And two others was also shot. And one of those two other people was the little boy that was with the woman that was firing the rifle that was killed by two off-duty officers at Joe Osteen's church. And um, that's sort of like an accident because the police was firing at her and he ended up catching one of those bullets. One child, suspect shot at Joe Osteen's mega church in Houston. Now, the thing about this is... This guy, Joe Osteen. Now, when that information was coming about out about P. Diddy's parties, and then we had, have you ever been swallowed up? You know what I'm saying? Mr. T.D. Jakes himself. When all that shit started being revealed, people, it was a woman. I don't know if y'all had caught that. It was a woman, white lady, that came out talking about this guy right here on this screen, Joe Osteen. And she allegedly says that he has been trafficking. Hello, somebody. Human trafficking, allegedly, in that church. And she was a victim, all right? So I'm wondering, will the real news come out about why that woman did that? Because let me tell y'all something. These days, man, ain't nobody just doing nothing for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You didn't did something to them or the world didn't piss them off, all right? But this right here, I'm thinking, allegedly, that woman had some beef with him about some type of whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think happened. But the truth could come out and it may not, all right? Keep going. Joe Osteen says, we know God's in control. All the pictures I showed him, showed him, either he got hella Botox in his goddamn face or he just, just smiling like he don't give a fuck. But anyway, people, see this man right here? It looks like he's looking at him strange. And this guy too, this other black guy looking at him like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. It begins. New York City arresting more migrants. Armed and dangerous, they say, people. Armed and dangerous. 15-year-old Times Square shooting suspect charged as an adult. This was a migrant, people, that uh, shot at the police. This 15-year-old right here, migrant, shooting at the police. Now he will be charged as an adult, as he should. Manhunt underway in Tennessee at the two deputies shot, one fatally. A Tennessee manhunt is underway for Kenneth D. Hart. He is accused of shooting two Blount County deputies, killing one in Maryville, Tennessee. I don't know if they uh updated that and said they caught him or anything like that. So if you want to know about that, look that story up, all right? All right, my bad for that interruption right there. Now... This is the migrant I was talking about. Migrant teen arrested for Times Square shooting. Look at him. And look at him. He dressed hella nice. That's what I said. Pay attention to these fools clothes and shit. He got a nice haircut and all of that there. You know what I'm saying? And he got the nerve to be busting at the police, man. Now look at him crying and shit. Armed and dangerous teen migrant from Venezuela cries. Huh? After arrest over Times Square shooting. Look at him. 
got a necklace on and every damn thing. What are you, you are, look, look. Let's keep going. A 15-year-old migrant suspected of shooting a tourist and firing at a police officer in a robbery gone wrong in Times Square was arrested on Friday, law enforcement sources said. The U.S. Marshals Joint Regional Fugitive Task Force and the NYPD and the NYPD took the Venezuelan team into custody at a home in Yonkers at around 3.30 p.m., according to the sources. It came just moments after NYPD Chief of Patrol John Shell identified Jesus Alejandro Rivas Figueroa, uh, Figueroa as the armed and dangerous person of interest in the chaotic incident at the crossroads of the world Thursday night. The teen arrived in September and had been staying at a temporary shelter at the Stratford Hotel on West 70th Street, Shell told reporters. He is also a suspect in an armed robbery in the Bronx from January 27th and another incident in which shots were fired in Midtown, the police official says. So this is some crazy stuff, people. Crazy stuff. Man fatally stabs wife in home with five children inside. You know, this stuff right here, uh, uh, happened over the weekend, people. All right? They, they, they look like a nice couple. You know what I'm saying? Man fatally stabs wife in home with five children inside. So he didn't kill the woman in front of, the, uh, you can assume, you know, in front of their children. It's crazy. An investigation is underway after a man fatally stabbed his wife Thursday morning in a residential community in Pembroke Pines, authorities said. Reports of multiple people shot inside Barrow County home, that's deputy saying. So a lot was going on. The Barrow County Sheriff's Office says multiple people have possibly been shot inside a home in the Kendall Park subdivision. Deputies are on scene investigating. This is a sad story right here, people. Mother wants answers after her two-year-old dies from a fentanyl overdose. Bless her heart. That sweet baby. Damn. Heaven Blue shares heartbreaking grief after her daughter, Mahalia, two years old, died from a fentanyl overdose after staying at her grandparents' house. She wants justice for her child. What she's saying is she wants them grandparents in fucking jail. Somebody need to go to jail. You hear me? Damn, can't even trust the grandparents. Goddamn, fentanyl overdose, people. Sheesh. Family shocked after man dies after getting shot. Dumped on side of road in Orange Mound. May he rest in paradise. A family is in mourning and demanding answers after a man was found shot and killed on the side of the road in Memphis, neighborhood of Orange Mound. I'm thinking in my mind, Carlos is probably in jail in Mississippi or Barlett. Just give it some time. I would have never expected the worst, says Travis Coleman, a cousin of DeCarlo Sanders. Damn. So evidently he was missing. Didn't nobody know where he's at. Then he was found on the side of the road. Damn. Brain implant treats epilepsy and OCD. New hope for OCD and epilepsy patients. Look at this thing. These subjects right here are coming back out into the, uh, the airways, whatever you want to call it. Uh... We show you a groundbreaking brain implant that brings hope to patients suffering from epilepsy and OCD, signaling a significant leap forward in medical technology. Elder abuse, question mark. New York Post op-ed calls on Jill Biden to force Biden not to run. Huh? Now, that's a damn shame. It's Fox News. That's a damn shame, man. When... The New York Post is saying, hey, man, Jill, Jill, can you can you tell Biden it's time to it's time to lay it down, man? Just just tell him to back up, man. Back up. All right. Neuralink begins first human experiment. The Tesla space. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit, man. They keep talking about these these brain implants and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy people. All right. Mom charged in baby's death. This was a Missouri woman. Mother puts baby in the oven. Now, this story right here, people, is crazy as hell. Because a witness, the, or I wouldn't say witness, but allegedly, allegedly the neighbor said that the mother was putting the baby to sleep. And she accidentally, instead of putting it in the baby crib, she put the baby in the oven, people. Now, I don't know if she turned this damn oven on. 
at all. I don't know if she, uh, the baby suffocated just by it being closed up, but, uh, I really don't want to know. But the thing is, how do you not know? Cause you have to open the, the damn oven lady. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Nah. That ain't shit like a bed. You don't open a bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That shit crazy, people. So, yeah, she got some uh, problems going on. All right. And rest in peace to that baby, man. Ba Mother puts baby in an oven. That's a damn shame. She's charged with the baby's death, as she should. Defense department looks to build new gravity bomb. All right. And this is very important right here. Because the United States is aiming to develop a new nuclear gravity bomb surpassing the power of those dropped on japan during world war ii now the reason why this is important is because if you're gonna uh build new gravity bomb and that's basically you know to bomb somebody like like russia and them did you know they got uh as far as they, they've made these outrageous ass, unprecedented as weapons they have that they have never had before. The power of these weapons, these nuclear weapons that uh, everybody has right now um, are weapons that we have never seen in history, the outcome of it. So now United States is letting people know, hey, <laughs> we in the works of building us a gravity bomb as well. That's that that uh, is worse than the ones we dropped in Japan in World War Two, you see what I'm saying? Because they just getting ready for what? World War Three people. Now, I had to put this in here. Meet the real parents of the Obamas. Now, but this says meet the real parents of Satan's pretend children. Now they calling Obama Satan, whatever. But look at this mom right here. Look at this mom. Look at the mom. And look at the daddy real close. I always thought, if you look in their they children's face, they don't look like Obama or uh, Michelle. Now, she can kind of pass for looking like Michelle, this one right here. But for the most part, she smiles just like this man, and she smiles just like this woman. Like, she looks like the mother, and he, she looks like the dad. Y'all make y'all choice up on that, but I know one damn thing. Uh... I mean, the head shape is the same, and that dad and everything. Look how his mouth is, and look, and look like how her mouth is. I mean, come on. And then right here, she really looks like her. Like, what is up with that, people? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, Dallas Councilwoman's home vandalized with anti-Semitic gra uh, graffiti. Now, they over there, uh, you know, taunting her. New York City imposing curfews at migrant shelters as they should after violent incidents. Uh-huh. They need to just get their ass up out of here and make them come over here the right way. Now, United States Senate advances $95 billion, aid, $95 billion in aid. All right. United States Senate aid bill for Ukraine is and Israel and Taiwan. See, this is the thing. Ukraine need more money to fight against Russia. Israel need more money to fight against Gaza slash Iran. And Taiwan need money for who? China. They need money to fight China. North Korea type shit. Boy, I tell you, boy. Then they giving all this money to the migrants and shit. Boy, I tell you, boy. It's crazy, people. Coming home. Brittany Griner. Uh, I'm sorry, Brittany Griner, to share her story in new book. Now, when I see this, I'm like, man, she looks like the, Nefi, the Nefertiti uh, statue people, which which what they will call a bus. You know, it's just the head of a person. You know what I'm saying? I swear, man, that that that's a beautiful picture. Though. I swear she looks like that Nefertiti uh, statue, man. That's crazy. You know what I'm talking about? We are the chosen. Now, keep going. And don't forget, people, this is the year of Kobe Bryant. Shout out to Kobe Bryant. I told you I was, and then next thing you know, guess what? They didn't gave him a statue. You see what I'm talking about? I know what I be talking about. But anyway, people, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. Message.